Hi everyone, it's me Munira and today I'm going to be speaking about a behavioral topic, one that all parents love, that is tantrum management in toddlers. So let's start with a very basic point, um, point number one. Kids love, like toddlers love their structure. You'll see that whenever things go out of their planned schedule, that's when toddlers get, um, you know, more, they throw more tantrums. So always try and set a somewhat daily routine that will help you minimize the tantrums. Then the second very important point, consistency. Consistency in how you deal with the tantrum every single time. One very important point to note over here is that never give in to the tantrum, guys. I get a lot of parents who are telling me that, Miss Munira, we almost always never give in to the tantrums. You see that difference of almost always. That means that sometimes you're giving in to the tantrums. Guys, don't do that. You have to be consistent with your behavior as to how you're dealing with the tantrums. Never, never give in to the tantrums. I know it's really hard, but please try. The more you do this, you'll realize that, yeah, you know, my babies are throwing lesser and lesser tantrums. Now, moving on to the third point. It's important to know that why are kids throwing these tantrums? Look, for toddlers, it's absolutely normal to have like a meltdown or a tantrum here and there. But a few things to keep in mind. Tantrums are generally thrown because the child is really frustrated. Yes, and they don't know how to cope with those emotions and they come out in the way of a tantrum. Like, I want a cookie and I cannot tie my shoes or I want to go paint right now. And you may be like, okay, that's not appropriate. What can you do when your child is really frustrated? A few things that really work. Number one, I'm sure all you guys have tried it, is distraction. A lot of times, distractions are going to work. Like say the baby says, I want a cookie right now. I want a chocolate chip cookie. You say that, no, come on, let's go and paint instead. Let's paint a card for daddy. Maybe it will work. Sometimes it works. A lot of times it may not work and your child may go into a full-blown meltdown or throwing a big, big tantrum, big tears, trying to hit. What can you do that time? You've got to be calm and composed very important no hitting the baby no raising your voice there are a few things you can do if this tantrum is thrown somewhere elsewhere you know not in the house like a restaurant or a supermarket like i want this toy what do you do just pick the child up and leave i know however irrational that may sound but just pick the child up and leave that place and you'll realize that um, they're not throwing those many tantrums because now the kids know that you know, no, if I throw this tantrum here, my mommy or daddy is not going to give in. They're just going to take me home. So it's going to work. I want you all, if they ever throw a tantrum outside and there's no way you can reason it with the child, distractions are not working, just pick them up and leave. Okay? Now, another thing, if you feel that when we are at home, now what can we do? There are a few things you can do. Is the child... Um, a hazard for themselves is it like a safety issue for themselves or for the others then you isolate the child sit with the baby in the room and be like i'm sorry i don't appreciate that they want to cry they want to snap they want to bang their heads and legs it's okay just be there to see that the kids are safe just look away don't give them too much of like oh you know what happened babble are you okay just be there just be firm say i know you're upset i'm upset too and we can talk later about this and wait just turn your head and just wait and let the child go through that tantrum. You can be there. If you want, if you want to soothe the child, sometimes you can soothe the child. You can take him in your, in your arms and be like, I know you're upset. I am upset too. It's okay. You are having these big emotions. We'll deal with them together. You can do this as well. And once the tantrum has passed, don't like talk too much about it. Let it go. Just move on. Move on with it. The tantrum's gone, go out of the room, go about with your life. Then when the baby is completely calm and a few hours have lapsed, then you can speak about this tantrum or you can wonder like, oh, what, what caused these big emotions or what led to this trigger? Yes, I hope these pointers help and we'd love to know any more suggestions that you guys have in the tantrums. So leave them in the comments. Thank you. Until next time.